are here at Vox Pop, and this is the pop-up uh, community arts and media space that is managed by Somerville Media Center. And we are at Assembly Row, 431 Artisan Way, and we are really excited to be here at this space. We've outfitted it and, and sort of, uh, you know, reclaimed a lot of the space in here to make it a, a fun, creative, um, and enjoyable environment for people to come on in. Uh, listen to live podcasts, um, hear an author talk series, listen to live DJs, um, listen to some children's story time. Uh, so it's family friendly. Um, it's really, really a just fun uh, project that Summer Media Center has been working on to have you all participate and come down and check it out. So Vox Pop came out of uh, just an ongoing relationship that we've had with uh, Frit, the managers of Assembly Row. We've been working with them for the past couple of years. And they were looking to activate a otherwise vacant storefront space here at their property. And knowing our relationship with them, they, they approached us about submitting a proposal. And we were very excited and um, you know wanting to jump on the opportunity to expand outside of Union Square and to test out the waters of just, you know, activating an area and curating an experience for um, the Somerville community and beyond. And yeah, basically we've been tapping into our membership, our community partners, and just figuring out ways to have a robust programming calendar for our community members to enjoy. So we're really grateful for uh, Federal Realty Investment Trust for giving us the space and we really hope that people um, come and enjoy all the different activities here over the summer. So our goal behind Vox Pop is, is really simple in that we want to expand our outreach and visibility um, to the larger Somerville community. Somerville Media Center has been around for close to 40 years and, and our home is in Union Square and we love being in Union Square. We're not going anywhere, but it's an opportunity for us to also kind of in an excited context, challenge our own ways about how we want to deliver um, the media making and greater arts experience to the community here. So it's been a really unique process, I think, for just all staff to come together and again, curate um, an experience for people to come into the space and to learn about Somerville Media Center and all of our resources through all these different sort of, you know, um, programs and they can come in and join an event and also learn more about the oldest community media center in the Commonwealth. Some uh, examples of what you can expect here in this space. Um, again, we have a podcast studio stage where we'll have different members um, interviewing folks in the greater Somerville area, talking about you know their their passions and dreams and, and what inspires them um, and what how they contribute to the Somerville community. So we'll have live podcast recordings, we'll have an author talk series, we'll have comedy nights, we'll have storytelling, um, we will have children's story times. I'm also just really excited for our grand opening, which is Thursday, May 9th, and that will um, be our official ribbon cutting and a night of Boston uh, comedians bringing their their best game here to Vox Pop. Some of our member uh, organized events that are happening here involve um, community arts and and DJs as well as um, a panel discussion with indie video game developers in the, in the Boston area um, as well as uh, an acoustic uh, concert series here. So we are really looking forward to having just an eclectic mix of programming. We're also really happy to collaborate throughout the summer with um, our neighbors, the Somerville Public Library, who will be hosting a murder mystery improv event, as well as an ongoing series for children's story time here as a way to bring in families in the community. We also have a SCAT TV binge event series here where we will uh, curate a really fun and enjoyable uh, viewing experience for those who come with the fun and wacky and creative media that makes SCAT TV so awesome. 
We will have Boston Free Radio Mondays, which will have a rotating group of different DJs, um, and also classic movie nights, because who doesn't love classic movies? And we'll have Charlie Chaplin Marathon, to classic Superman cartoons, to Buster Keaton, to Little Shop of Horrors, all public domain, and we are excited to have that series as well as a post-film panel discussion um, hosted by film enthusiasts and uh, scholars. So a lot going on. More about the programming can be found at uh, somervillemedia.org forward slash boxpop. And if you have any comments or questions or concerns, please let us know. And we really hope to see you at all of the events here. What's up? We are here at Vox Pop.